A Texas woman is facing seven years in prison after she was caught making animal snuff videos. Now, for those of you who are wondering what those types of videos are, Ashley Nicole Richards created pornographic films where she was caught abusing animals. According to reports, puppies, chickens, and kittens were mutilated and stomped on for the purpose of sexually arousing the audience. Now, what I'm about to read to you guys is very, very graphic and honestly difficult to read, so I want to give you fair warning. Richard is seen torturing and killing a blue pit bull mixed puppy in a kitchen. The defenseless dog's mouth is closed with duct tape, and he struggles as Richard strikes the dog numerous times with a meat cleaver. Mm. In the video, Richard chops off one of the puppy's paws, then hacks at his head and neck. Richard is later seen severing the dog's head and urinating on its body. Now, throughout the entire video, she's done several of these videos. Throughout all of them, she's saying sexual things, and of course it's being done with the purpose of arousing the audience. Now, um, she's going to be sentenced in December, and like I said, she's facing seven years in prison. But her defense was that her videos were protected under the First Amendment. However, there are certain exceptions to the First Amendment, and one of them is obscene, obscene content, and this falls under that. And also, you're not allowed to abuse animals. So according to current laws in the U.S., since she was caught abusing animals on tape, uh, she broke the law, and now she's facing prison time. So here's a crazy twist in the story. Uh, conservatives defended people like her in the beginning, and that's why they couldn't be prosecuted. Why? Do they like these videos? No, no, no. Let's be fair. No. Conservatives have no interest in these videos. No one, I mean, we don't have no idea what the political ideology of the people who are interested in these videos. And by the way, they exist. That's why she gets paid. That's why she does it. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, at least enough people to make some sort of living off of it, pay her to watch these videos. They walk among us. So that is super scary and spooky. But now, mm -hmm. back to why the conservatives were against the original legislation passed to prohibit this, the Animal Crush Video Prohibition, Prohibition Act, right? Because they said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Will this make videos of our hunting illegal? Right, okay. yes. Okay, and, and some corporations were worried about it. What if you took video of slaughterhouses, okay? Mm -hmm. And then what, is what we do with the slaughterhouses, we chop up animals like she was chopping yeah. up an animal. It just happens to be cows and we eat it, and sometimes we do it in very inhumane ways. So companies along with hunters were like, no, 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 no. And so they had to rewrite the law and be super specific, specific yeah. only for sexual videos involving crushing and this and that. And once they explained that, then it made it through the courts. And even there, it, there was a couple of courts that disagreed. But the, finally, uh, the Supreme Court, by allowing the lower court decision, said it is okay to prosecute. She will be prosecuted. And by the way, she could get up to seven years per charge. Oh, I I missed that. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's so. That's pretty heavy. It is uh, so heavy. So for the, those of you who are repulsed by this, which I hope is almost all of you, uh, believe me, there is a lot of punishment that she could get. So I think that the way this law worked out is actually a really great example of our legal system working the way it's intended to work because laws need to be super specific. Mm -hmm. Right, like, look, I have no interest in watching hunting videos, but hunting is legal in the country uh, as long as you're following certain regulations. And if someone takes a video of that, they shouldn't have to worry about getting prosecuted. Right. So I'm glad that the law was rewritten in a way that was super specific to go after crazy people like this. And by the way, also for animal rights activists who might record a slaughterhouse, yes, it also helps them to rewrite it in a more clear way. Right. So, uh, so they did the right thing here. We got to the right result. Uh, now. The fact that people get off on this, I mean, I don't even want to repeat the things that Anna said with the dog. It's and hard to even think about yeah, it. Yeah, and, and the cat, you know, you. you she, yeah, she's, she, she stabbed a cat's eye. With, with her stiletto. Yeah. God damn it, man. So look, the stomping fetish is, I guess, you know, it's, it's not uncommon, I guess, right? You know, it's a category that exists in all the porn portals, right? And so there's, it's as benign as guys get off on watching a woman step on a gas pedal in a car. Why? Why any fetish? No one knows, right? If that's your thing that's very particular and doesn't harm anyone, have at it, Hoss. Step on it all you like, right? And then they're like, then some like it when they step on bugs. Well, they're bugs. Nobody's going to complain too much. Then we've talked about mice in the past, but I've never heard of dogs and no, neither of and, and cats and then chopping them up and then urinating. What are you doing? What are you doing? Man, 
and, and you're, nobody ever admits it. So the, a certain percentage of the population likes that. It's I hope, I hope, a very small percentage, but they exist. And you'll never know who they are. Yeah, I'm happy with not knowing who they are. Yeah. It's really disturbing. So, of course, one last thing on this. It's a good question as to whether uh, we should also go after the people who watch it, right? Because remember, yeah. in child porn, you go after the people who shot it, you also go after the people who watched it. I think that it's totally fine to go after the people who watch it. And you're, then you're the abusing animals. No, I hear you, but then, okay, now it gets a little complicated because where do you draw the line, right? Mm -hmm. Because I think a puppy and a kitten, we're all going to be like, yeah, go after them, right? Even to the guys watching it. How, they chopped up, oh, no, go after them, right? How about cockroach? No, don't go after them. It's a cockroach. We kill cockroaches all the time. I'll kill a bunch of cockroaches okay. and mosquitoes. I don't right. give a shit. Right. Well, people would pay you to watch that. But, uh, okay, so uh, mice, we kill mice. They're getting up there. So what I'm saying is it's not as simple as we think it is, and so it's deeply disturbing and nuanced.